Brian Chan, uh, one of the founders of Zona Space Systems from California. Welcome to Sydney and to the IGNSS uh, conference uh, day one. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, I caught your presentation and you'll be talking about LEO PNT satellites. Maybe introduce us to, to Zona Space Systems. Uh, and it also sounded like you've been to Australia before. I'd be interested to cover on what you're doing here in Australia. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was here at UNSW earlier this year, gave it a little talk, so I appreciate uh, Dr. Dempster inviting me. Um, but yeah, so Zona Space, we've been around since 2019. Uh, we were founded in the Bay Area in California. Um, you know, since then, um, our whole our whole uh, business is about launching a constellation of 268 satellites in low Earth orbit to provide a high performance PNT service for end users all across domains. What's the sweet spot in the market for you? Who who are your end clients like most likely to be? Yeah, I think we're rather ambitious. We believe that all verticals and industries that use GNSS today will eventually adopt high performance services such as Zona Pulsar. Um, I think the question also then becomes, well, who are the first adopters? And we see that as um, historically those being in heavy industry uh, have actually uh, taken up and paid for better GNSS in the form of GNSS corrections. So think about you know precision ag mining, construction, and the like. We believe that those are the users that will first adopt, but we see uh, a lot of interest all across uh, markets and, and globally. It, it, obviously, it's a bit of a hybrid to general GPS uh, that's available to, to public infrastructure as it is. Is it a hybrid model that you're going in? Is it, does it create redundancy for sort of critical systems? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's, it's not a either or. I think it's an and, a blended solution if you consider GNSS with Leo or with other uh, technologies, right, which which have worked in the past, such as IMU or LiDAR, uh, infrared type sensors. I believe a blended solution is, is really the best. Um, you know, our approach is really to uh, lower the activation energy to actually use uh, these Zona Pulsar systems while um, keeping the level of performance and what you get out of out of using such signals to be to be very high, and of course being affordable as well. We use the three P's of power, protection, and positioning. Are you strong in all three? Are you strongest in in any particular one? Yeah, I believe that we're we're strong in all three. I mean, I'll, I'll say that the uh, key differentiator is is probably power, just right. because you know traditionally. Right, there's four GNSS out there today. The power has largely been the same for the past, well, since it's ever been in existence, frankly. And um, you know what we're doing is providing a higher power signal from space, and that really hasn't been done, uh, at least from a dedicated PNT perspective, ever. So you know we're we're offering this kind of new um, product, a new service that that folks are wrapping their head around right now. Well, you mentioned you want to get a constellation of 260 plus. Uh, you've got one up there at the moment with one launch plan for 2025. Is it the the cost of launch getting cheaper that allows you to sort of plan for 260 plus satellites? What, what's your sort of timeline uh, for that? Yeah, I mean, I'll be frank. I think the the access to launch has really gone down by several orders of magnitude, even in the past five years, and that kind of uh, cost savings and, and affordability has really enabled businesses like ours. And so that we're really leveraging that um, and, and uh, yeah, believe that access to, to launch, not as well as even cost of satellites and componentry themselves are, are only going down. So that should hopefully be uh, uh, the wind at our back. The other one is uh, the ecosystem that you're building. You're having to, to build the transmitters and have the ecosystem allow those transmitters and receivers uh, to, you know, to be within that ecosystem. How are you finding the take up of getting partners and uh, sort of supporting uh, you as a company? Yeah, I think really good. Um, so yeah, we're, we're essentially developing the space transmitter. Transmitter. And so, so yeah, and so we're, we're uh, leveraging the uh, many companies that have been doing, that have been making GNSS receivers for quite some time. And um, what I've found is they've kind of been waiting for, for a technology like ours, right? Because GNSS hasn't really uh, had some modern or you know, big jump in performance or new fangled feature, right, for the past probably 20 or so years. And so we see a lot of interest and a lot of uptake in adopting Zona Pulsar. Is it the, maybe a little bit more on the receiver side, are they, is it uh, uh, from a LEO um, perspective, does it allow the receivers to be smaller, 
uh, and you know, is there new sort of technology available for those receivers there in terms of where they can be put? That's a great question. I think that answer, uh, we'll, we'll see, I think is the answer. I think what we're trying to do is really leverage what is available today and, and keeping the user equipment the same while while improving the actual performance you can get out of it. But I think time will tell of maybe you know the receivers and can get smaller. Maybe the power consumption can be lower, right? And maybe everything can be even more affordable. I think that that's a question that, that we'll be solving soon, I hope. And I suppose that comes from scale as well, when it becomes cost effective to start to do that? Yeah, exactly right. And I mean, there are you know many other uh, kind of technology lines or, or other pieces of, of the industry that, that come together too, right? Such as advances in semiconductors, right? I, I, I'm, I'm no professional in that, but I certainly know that any um, advances there can find its way into to GNSS as well. Wonderful. Well, you're practically a global company uh, as it is, but you're based out of California. Brian Chan, thanks very much for coming all this way to Sydney and presenting today at the IGNSS <laughs> conference uh, here at the University of New South Wales. Yeah, my pleasure, Chris. Thank you.